Hi, I'm uh, Kyle Gorney from Stone Transport Safety Committee. I'm also a driver manager here at Stone. Um, with me today, I have the VP of Maintenance here at Stone, Eric Green. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about trailer uh, prep here in the winter, uh, safety, with what comes with this trailer prep and safety in the winter. I'm gonna let Eric take it from here for a little bit. We're gonna ask him some questions and go from there. Thanks, Kyle. So yeah, I mean, we have a very interesting um, issue to deal with in Michigan and winter driving a lot of states don't deal with. Within that poses some challenges. We get temperatures that fluctuate from 40 degrees to 20 at night and how do you you know mitigate your issues and you minimize your problems down going down the road. So what Stone Transport has for at your disposal to use is at every location you're gonna find rock salt. So very simple rock salt but very effective in trailer preparation. Rock salt will help break that bond and as it melts inside the trailer, it creates a, a chemical layer between the floor and the material you may be hauling. Um, it's important to make sure that when you're using this rock salt, you're, you're putting it around the, the key areas. When I say the key areas or the front of the trailer, around the nose of the trailer heavier than you would say in the rear of the trailer. This is where the wind is hitting as you're going down the road. And if you can imagine Kyle, you know, a 35 degree day, 60 mile an hour driving but well, you're kind of at negative 25 degrees now at that point you know yeah. that front of that trailer is just getting cold yeah and you think about when you're loading an aggregate or something and we've all seen it where we uh the loader's picking it up and there's steam coming out of the pile you know that that's going to be an instant problem right there when yep. you go down the road so using rock salt and um, prepping your trailer properly will save you a lot of shoveling we no one likes to shovel no. you know so um Another thing when I was talking about the loaders, if you uh, you know if you can ask that loader to take some of that colder material, maybe from the outside edge of the pile, no snow, make sure there's no snow in that material on the bottom of your trailer. But maybe put that on the base of your floor first, that'll actually, actually save you some grief too. Oh, okay. okay. So in conjunction with rock salt, we also, all of our main locations being Delta, Detroit, and Saginaw have a big brine tank. So, and at every location we have sprayers at your disposal now we ex we don't expect these to last two three seasons these are kind of um, one season and throw away we understand that you're going to use them up this is your typical two gallon sprayer that you see at any hardware store when you're using these sprayers you, you fill it up with a brine mixture and you, you get in your trailer and you can spray the walls you don't have to go all the way to the top of the wall you know two-thirds up wherever the pile is going to hit a little bit in the nose and less is more when it comes to this stuff. Okay. When you puddle it, it can actually be counterproductive. For I'm you. glad you said that, because I was gonna ask, you know, how much should these guys be putting in their trailer? You know, just a nice thin layer. It's, um, I guess when you think about when you're cooking, you know, and you, you don't want a puddle of oil, you, yeah. you want a nice thin layer of yeah. oil to cook in. So, okay. you know, that's uh, something to think about when you're winter, you know, winter dr trailer driving. Okay. Um, now, they, you said you could find this at Delta, um, Saginaw, and which other, what other locations? So, all our main shops, the Saginaw location, the Delta, Ohio location, and the Detroit yard will have them. Okay. Lansing yard usually has brine as well okay. and salt as well. If if you're at a remote location and you find we're out of salt for some reason, and you, you know we need your information on that. We need yeah. to know, hey, um, call the breakdown team. You're down to 15 bags of salt here on the pallet of 100. Okay. okay, we'll get in there. They'll give us time to react so we're not out at that location. We want to make sure you're stocked. We don't want you to be out. Yeah, and it, I mean, if you can't reach your uh, your breakdown team, guys, you can always call driver managers. We are always here to help you. Um, we can reach out to Eric, you know, working here directly yep. next to you. We can reach out to you say, hey, we're running low on some stuff. We need, we need, uh, you know, some products for our guys to be safe out yeah, there. Our maintenance team is more than willing to come out and get those products out there to you. And then um, what about like catwalks? You know, those can get built up with ice. And, you know, so I'm glad you asked, Kyle. Yeah, that can be, you know, it can be tough. Um, you know, we, Stone Transport went through a campaign, campaign the last two to three years where we installed man doors and almost all of our trailers. There may be one or two out there that don't have them, okay. but for the most part, you're going to find you have a man door in the front of your trailer. This allows you to safely get into that trailer. Is it easy all the time? No, it's not easy, but you know, we used to climb over the side of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, so going in, but when you're getting on that catwalk, make sure it's free from ice and snow buildup. Take the minute to clean it off. If you need to knock it off, use your hammer. You know, knock yep. the ice off the catwalk. If you're having trouble with your fittings and rehooking those fittings on your um, pups to your leads and things like that, 
Don't be afraid to tap those fittings a little bit with the hammer. Don't beat on them. Yep. Just give them a light little tap, help release that ice and stuff in there. You know, always should have a you know hammer and some penetrating oil with you. Yep. That way you can spray it in the you know, and those O-rings can slide down and everything can clip on nicely for that, you. That makes a lot of sense. Um, and uh, you know, as a driver, you guys get in the truck three, four o'clock in the morning. It's, the roads are gonna be icy. If they are, you already know it. If you know there's slush on the road, you're already gonna know it. So it doesn't hurt to just take that extra couple minutes, check your catwalk, check your trailers, check your hydro lines, making sure there's no ice build up. Absolutely, Kyle. And you know, when you're, you break a great point about that because when you're doing your pre-trip and post-trip, you know, making sure that stuff's cleaned off. You're gonna build some up going on the road, but when you go to your next dump, take that time. Yeah. Stone Transport understands that it may take a little longer in the winter yes. time to do your job than it is in the summertime. Yeah. That's just the nature of the state we live in. Yeah, so we're, we're proud to be from Michigan. We love Michigan, but uh, it poses its challenges at it, times. It does, you know, and I always tell my guys, um, I can replace a truck. I can't replace you. I Absolutely. can't I can't replace you. So first things first is safety. And Absolutely. so we want to be as safe as possible, especially this time of the year when the um, the accidents are higher. That you know, there's a lot For more sure. accidents this time of year. Uh, we'll actually get into a couple examples of trailer prep later on um, in another video, I do believe. And um, you know, I can't help but stress straight safety first yeah and we want to make sure that when we're taking off in these heavy haul trucks yeah. and you know we're, we're weighing in at 160 164 yep. you hit that patch of slush you go right to dry pavement or you're coming off a side road onto a main road yep. be careful don't be right in the throttle yeah you, it's a good way to break a drive oh, it sure is we've already seen a couple examples this year um you know and we're starting to get into december's really that that yeah we're kind of cold it, we're coming into the cold cold months here in yes. michigan and so this is going to be a big big thing well i've got some good news for you kyle though uh -oh. is when it gets cold cold yeah it actually gets better oh okay why and why is that the piles start cooling down okay okay so you when you're putting the same temperature material in the trailer the same temperature and it's going down the road same temperature a yep. lot less risk of sticking okay awesome but when you put a hot material in a cold trailer yep. in a cold trans transport yep that's when you get your stick. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, do you have any advice maybe for the new guys coming on board? We're, we're starting to get bigger as a company. So we've got a lot of new guys coming on and this is gonna be some of their first winters here in Michigan. You know, don't be afraid to ask your fellow driver questions. Uh, you know, we're a team here. We, we, we preach Team Stone, we want Team Stone. Yep. So don't be afraid to ask your fellow drivers, the veteran drivers, how do you prep your trailer? Can you show me how to prep a trailer? Yep. Don't be afraid to ask them that. They should show you, you know, they'll work with you on that. Yep. I don't I don't know of a driver here at Stone Transport that would tell you no. No, no, and, and we got plenty of vets here that can help you out. We got guys that have been here 20 plus years. This is not their first trip around a Michigan winter. No, no, there's it's not. We've we've been through some crazy, crazy road conditions, crazy weather conditions around here in uh, 43 years in business. You know, we've we've kind of seen it all. Yep, and trucking doesn't stop. Trucking does not stop. Um, trucking is consistently going all the time. So you know, we just want you guys to be safe. Uh, that's a core value here at Stone, and there's a reason for it. So you know, um, I. I, anything else for this? I would just say, like you said, Kyle, good, good, safe driving, good winter prep. Five minutes of prep time will save you an hour of pure torture unloading. Yeah. If you if you do it right, prep you want you very minimal issues. And when you get those heavy loads that get frozen, you also run the risk of a tip. You know, absolutely, you, you yeah. can tip a trailer, and we all know that's very easy to do. Very easy, very dangerous, very costly. Yes, so, <laughs> it, it causes. It's problem. not so much the cost of stone transport; it's the more more the cost to the driver yeah. and what he goes through in a tip over situation. It's yeah. not it's not fun for the it, career. It's hard to mentally hard. recover from something yes, like that. It is. So um, we appreciate everything that you drivers do for us here at Stone. Um, you guys do an amazing job. If it wasn't for you, this company would not run the way that it does. And something that I say to all my guys every single day, just stay safe out there.